Good morning. I'm playing around with antics. I'm fairly new to it, but the um, I wanted to record what I'm doing, and I wanted to start working off a live USB for it. So I can use it on, this is my main system, and I have several laptops. I was thinking I can use a flash drive. Anyway, I want to go over a simple screen recorder and how I got that. Now, there's a software installer button down here. Um, if you click it, it will prompt you for um, it will prompt you for a password. And um, Let me let me do this. Uh, so in order to get the screen recorder, I went to this package installer. Now I don't know where else to find the software installer app. There's no other menu with that except down here in the bottom of the screen. So that is a slight, here it is, screencast. So I simply checked the box for simple screen recorder, clicked install, and then if you right click on the desktop, and you look at applications, multimedia, um, Simple Screen Recorder showed up in there. I opened Simple Screen Recorder, and you know, maybe I'll open another instance to show you my settings. So uh, on here, how I set, I had to use Awesome Mixer in order to cre increase my microphone sound, and it's still not quite right. So I'm having a bit of a hard time doing that. But let me see if I can get another instance of Simple Screen Recorder. And what I did was I had to set it on the PNP audio device to be on my microphone. Um, I believe this is my microphone and not my um, my video uh, camcorder, whatever you call that thing. The um, that has a microphone on it too. Uh, the thing that will record me while I'm streaming. Um, Let's see. I set it on high quality intermediate MP4 for YouTube, H26, H.264, because I believe that goes with MP4. I put the audio on MP3. I don't know the best settings. I don't know much about this, but this um, works. So that's what I set the simple screen recorder on. In order to adjust my microphone, um, also mixer in the command line, um, if you click anti antics and you click terminal, you'll get this. Then also mixer gives me this. Then um, and then I adjusted these things, and then when I was done, I hit escape like that. To get out, ESC. Now, this guide on the Ubuntu wiki on the Ulsa mixer actually helped me out because you need to know how to adjust the different bars in there. So, um, actually, does Control Alt T work on this to give a terminal? Yes, it does. So, Control Alt T does give you a terminal. Um, Ulsa mixer can bring it up. Also, if you right click on the desktop, go to applications under multimedia, you see also mixer. All right.
So um, to select the sound card in all Mixer, um, F6 and F5 for the recording controls. I used F5. You move around with the left and right arrow keys. So let's see arrow up, M enter. So um, I used F5 to go to this screen. If you use the right key and left, you can see it moving back and forth. Um, to increase the and decrease the volume with the up and down arrow keys. And uh, also, the you'll notice like there's 80-80 above this. So um, you use Q and E to raise the left and right respectively, and Z and C to lower the left and right respectively. Mute and unmute are with the M key. MM means muted, and OO means unmuted. If you look right up here, you see this OO in the little box. That means it's unmuted. Um, MM means muted. I have to learn what all these different things are for. Um, it says here, note that a bar can be 100% full, but still be muted. Uh, so do check for this. And you exit the awesome mixer with the escape key. Um, now, I don't know what this has to do with Pulse Audio. Um, that is on the Ubuntu. I will link this. And that, that is basically how to get into, how to um, start simple, download simple screen recorder and how to work with the sound and microphone. And then when you're done recording, you'll save it and you can just, you click once to open the video and look at it. All right, thank you for listening.